Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our first Facebook Live uh, Q&A session. Um, today we just kind of want to share with you guys a little bit about New Horizons RV, uh, try to answer any questions that, that you guys might have out there in Facebook world. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of roll through this. So uh, the first thing we really wanted to talk to you guys about uh, is is our infrastructure that we build here at New Horizons RV. Um, my brother Drew here, one of the product specialists. We also have Erin Usher. Uh, she is our sales coordinator, uh, sales administrator. Uh, she helps Drew and I uh, put all the details together um, on your orders as they come in, uh, just to make sure that we build you guys, you know, your dream RV and build the way you guys expect it. So, Drew, do you want to talk a little bit about the frame, or do you want me to roll with? You go ahead and start okay. off. Okay. <laughs> um, so, a few of the things that we do at New Horizons that are, are very different than the rest of the industry. Um, we build our own chassis in-house. Uh, Drew's going to share a little bit about that in more detail here in just a few minutes. Um, we build our own cabinetry. It's 100% solid wood throughout the whole coach. Not an ounce of particle board or anything like that. It's all very solid, very residential. Um, we also build our own sidewalls, which I've got a little cut out here. And we do something that's very unique in the industry. We use a high density foam insulation as opposed to a you know spun wool or batten insulation. Uh, one of the one of the biggest benefits of this high density foam is this is never gonna settle. So 20 years from now when you're still in your new horizons RV, it's gonna have the same insulation properties as the day it rolled off of our uh, assembly line. So uh, the foam, it ends up being heavier, ends up being a little more expensive, but we feel that this is without a doubt the best way to insulate your RV. Uh, we put this everywhere, sidewalls, floors, uh, slide room floors, including our roof. We double up the foam to cut the ducting through the bottom layer, and then the top layer is fully non-interrupted um, foam up there so we do and actually it's a pressure rolled system as opposed to a hung sidewall which is what you're seeing a lot more in the industry so this is going to give you a lot smoother exterior appearance too when you put that that nice paint job on it for sure for sure um oh, i lost my train of thought where's it walls mm -hmm. uh, so yeah we build our own chassis our own walls cabinetry um you know interior wise you know, the infrastructure of something as simple as making sure outlets are in the right place. Uh, part of our design process with you is, you know, we have a, a standard layout for outlets, but uh, you might have some special needs on where you want some additional power outlets. Uh, one of the common ones that we get a lot is uh, having an outlet right next to the bed for your CPAP machines if you have sleep apnea or, or if you're a big time, you know, computer user, you might have us build a custom desk and you need additional outlets in that area for all the you know, networking and printers and, and everything else that goes along with that. So, One of the things that we do, rarely will you see a outlet in the exterior wall. Um, you know, if, if there's an outlet in the wall, then you're gonna be losing insulation. And uh, you know these things are guaranteed to minus 10 degrees, so we gotta make sure we have- Interrupt. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, I had a phone call. <laughs> I need to figure out how to turn that off. It just paused it. We're fine. Okay. okay. Are we back? You're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. Um, what are you saying? Oh, about the outlets. Yeah. Uh, we put outlets everywhere. I mean, we look at it and try to figure out how we would use it, and we put outlets where we would need them. Now, there's there's always going to be a time when you need, you, you've got a specific space you want, or place you want it, and... We just make sure we get it on the drawing, make sure it gets put in there for you. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to talk a little bit about the frames that we build here? Sure. In the house? Sure. Okay. Well, one of the things that we do, and we'll t we can tag team this. Uh, one of the things that we do uh, very well, and you really don't see them, is we, we engineer and then we build our own chassis. Um, you know, we're not buying our chassis from uh, Lippert, and you know. It, so what we get is a lot stronger chassis, one that we 
that we feel very, very strongly about. We take a 12-inch uh, I-beam, this is on the Majestic, we take a 12-inch I-beam and we put a 2x6 box tube underneath that. Um, that runs front to back. Um, that's going to equate to some of the extra weight, but we by far have the strongest chassis in the industry. Um, the Summit is a, it's engineered, so we know that that chassis is for that one specific floor plan. Um, we don't have to build it quite as heavy. It's still built out of, uh, of the 12 inch I-beam. And then you've got the spacer pieces underneath that to, to, uh, to raise it up for the suspension and today's newer trucks. Um, it doesn't run back quite as far. Um, you know, it's, we don't have chassis issues, so we love them. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's the way we've always done it. Um, Haley Richards said, could you build a two full bath large garage fifth wheel toy hauler? Yeah, I mean, when we say custom, um, you know, honestly, we can build just about anything you're after. Uh, of course, we've got space limitations. Um, you know, we build all the way up to 48 feet long. Uh, from 32 up to 48 is kind of our, our uh, uh, lengths that we build. So, yes, in a short answer, we could do a two bath two bedroom, I mean, what, whatever it is you want. If, we, if it fits and it's safe to engineer, we want these to last you many, many years, so we won't build something that um, potentially could, could cause issues within uh, structural engineering of it. Right. And then, you know, our imagination and a budget, those are some of the limiting factors to building these. We can, we can get really creative in floor plans, so. Um, we're kind of coming back to the chassis and we'll wrap up and then really probably open up to questions for a while. Looks like we've got a lot that are coming in. Um, but with our chassis that we build in house, you know, it's strong enough. We can lift our coach off the ground with automatic leveling with four points. Most of the industry, well, in fact, pretty much all the industry is using a six point leveling system. And any leveling is better than the old ways with electric geared and you know, manual scissor jacks on the rear. But, stabilizers. Yeah, the stabilizers, yeah. But what we're, what we're doing with our frames, um, you know, we are confident in lifting them off the ground to change tires. Uh, half the time we're set up at RV shows, you know, one side of the coach, their tires are completely off the ground. And that's kind of a testament to our leveling and the fact that our chassis is so strong, we don't, we don't worry about it. So, um, how we do it on our shop line so we expect you out in the real world to to use that same system to you know change your tires if you ever have issues or something so check bearings that kind yeah of stuff. yeah so um aaron do you got anything you want to <laughs> <laughs> we'll put you on the spot here since you're so Jeez, much no pressure yeah. um yeah sharon mcfarland said can you tell us a little bit about the rear kitchen model go ahead yeah I'll, um <laughs> so We've got a few different designs for rear kitchen. Of course, you know, with the custom aspect, we can take those designs and, and you know, tweak it to be exactly what you're after. Um, we do want to share with you guys, we're in the middle of building our 2020 Majestic Show model, which happens to be a 40 foot rear kitchen with four slides. Um, and we'll be getting that on our, our website very soon with the floor plan, the color schemes that we've chosen, um, we're doing a lot of, of features in that unit that have been really popular over the last half year. Um, you know, solid wood floors throughout, uh, painted cabinetry, which is very, very popular right now. Uh, we're choosing to use a uh, solid surface in that unit for the countertops. Of course, granite and quartz are both available. Uh, just depends on how much weight you want to add to the heavier, unit. Yeah. So yeah, the granite and the quartz add anywhere from 700 to 1,000 pounds in one of these units. So it, it is important to think about when we're designing that. But yeah, we're really excited about the rear kitchen and that's gonna debut at the Tampa Super Show in January. Uh, we'll be getting done in mid-December and then we'll be uh, taking it from cold Kansas down to sunny Florida to, to show it off to everybody. So. Does that answer? Yeah, yeah it, one of the things I was gonna say about the rear kitchen with the Moride suspension that we use yep. and just the sheer weight of our units and length and all that, 
a lot of the myths where you know the back is breaking. Did I suppose it can happen if you drive crazy, but you know if you're if you're driving normal, it's it's uh, I I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, and and we we just took a deposit for another uh, rear kitchen. Um, that's going to be interesting. We'll have to get that one on the website too. So. Next question? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mary asked, is it possible to have a shift lap light siding on some of the walls, paint versus the RV wall covering? Yes. As long as it's on the inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, this last spring we built a, a unit for the Johnson family, and they had us put shift lap on the back wall awesome. on the island, and actually they don't full time. So they had us remove the overhead cabinets in the bedroom, and we put shift lap on the entire back wall so it looked like a big shiplap headboard with a couple sconce lights on it. Um, it is, Courtney, make a note of that. We'll get, we can put that on the website, or on the uh, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah that was a, awesome. a link to the Facebook album. Um, I also shot a video on that one that has kind of a walkthrough, but it was a beautiful build. And it's up on our YouTube channel. It's up on our YouTube channel, yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't found us on YouTube, definitely uh, Hop on there sometime, uh, subscribe to that as well. Love having you guys follow us on Facebook. Last I checked, we're only like nine likes away from hitting about 4,000. Um, you know, for a small company, that's pretty exciting. So uh, get that next level, but yeah. Um, Barbara said she's interested in full-time full -time living for the next 15 to 20 years. Can New Horizons handle that? that yes, we definitely can. New Horizons, our company's actually been in existence since 1989. Um, we're a small company. Uh, we build around 30 to 36 units a year, so we're not pumping them out, you know, by the hundreds and just shoving them out the door. Um, with that, we're able to concentrate on building you quality, quality that'll last. Um, you know, there are rigs that are still on the road from the early 90s. Uh, I always joke they they look hideous. They're just like a redneck <laughs> box on wheels, but they're built like tanks. Yeah. Um, the cabinetry inside. The exteriors are what make it look dated, but the cabinetry being solid wood, I mean, it lasts a long time. It doesn't fall apart. It doesn't yeah. just fall apart when you're going on the road. So so the short, long answer, yes, we can definitely build you a unit that if you hit a home run with your floor plan yeah. and you love your floor plan, you know, you can use your New Horizons easily 15, 20, even 25 years. We can be your first and your last. Mm -hmm. And Tom wants to know, if the generator is below the trailer, do you put a propane tank dedicated for the generator, and how big and where do you put it? Yeah. Do you want to uh, that, Andrew? Or? Well, we, we can. Um, we've got a 100-pound uh, LP tank that we put in the rear that can be either in addition to the standard 240s, or we can get rid of the 240s and have just that under there mm -hmm. if you'd like. So it, it could be dedicated just to the generator if you wanted it to be. So yes. And Ron wanted to know, have you ever done an aqua hot type heating system? Uh, we've done aqua hot in the past. Uh, we actually, we took it off our options list. Um, basically, there's fewer service shops out there to service it for you. Uh, it's a really, really expensive system and it takes a lot of even additional cabinetry to what we already build to get all the, um, what are those called? The heat the little cozy heaters. Yeah, the little but heater uh, kind of ducts, if you will. Um, we've done it. We don't care to do it, but yeah. we've done it. Okay. And Doug said, is it okay to use the jacks to lift the unit off the ground for storage? To like take, to take the pressure off the tires and stuff to store it all year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 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 Because yeah that, yes. Is yes, it? that'd be good for the tires, probably. That's a good idea. <laughs> yep. And then Bridget wants to know: Can you do a rear kitchen in a thirty-five foot model? And will you be bringing any thirty-five foots to Tampa? We'll have a thirty-seven, which we're in right now. This uh, the rig we're hanging out in right now is our thirty-seven foot Summit IK three S. Um, so we're taking this rig with us, a forty-one foot toy hauler, and a forty foot rear kitchen. So unfortunately, we won't have a thirty-five footer. But the short answer is yes, we can build you a 35 foot rear and we, kitchen. We can show you the differences, you know, what would be different in a 35 as opposed to a 40 or, yep. or a 37. So that's, yeah, that's no problem. And Barbara also said, as planned solo full timer, I feel comfortable towing large fifth wheel with a dually, but not an MDT like Freightliner. Mm -hmm. Am I able to tow using a dually? Yes, yes. yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. And and we are always very cautious and conscientious of what trucks to recommend. Uh, so many people out in the real world are, I, I feel, towing way over their limits. Um, do need to be careful about the equipment put in here. Uh, if we built somebody a 48 footer with granite countertops, wood floors, generators, batteries, solar arrays, a bathtub, I mean, that weight's going to get upwards of 26 to 28,000 pounds. It can. It, and at that point, you need to be looking at the medium duty. But if you build um, in that, you know, 32 to even 45 foot range, and, and we watch what all you put into the unit, then a regular dually is totally fine to tow these around. And we, we've got a good, it's a weight calculator, it's a weight estimator, um, and that runs pretty true weight-wise. So we're able to, to figure it ahead of time so you don't have a surprise at the end. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, Jackie and Andrea Johnson doesn't have a question, but they are the ones with the ship left Yes, wall. they are. Yeah. Are they on there? Yeah. Yes, cool. Said, they like your <laughs> <laughs> um, Cheryl Wallman, uh, Lindy Cunningham, and Jackie Johnson are joining us. Awesome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and they said that they will be at the Lakewood Campground in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, October 11th through 20th. If anyone wants to come look at their awesome. videos. Awesome. That's great. That's awesome. Um, Brad said to tell them a little bit about the Majestic line versus the Summit. The Perfect. same frame, same overall quality. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so about two years ago, we set out to redesign uh, our Summit models. Uh, what we've done is establish set footprints on the floor plan, and they range from 32 up to 44 feet long. And then we've also identified um, areas in the trailer to basically still give you the high quality in, in the craftsmanship and the seals and how we build the frame, the flooring, the insulation, it's all identical. Uh, but we've scaled back in a few areas like this very clean lines, which a lot of people are preferring today. Whereas our Majestic has things like fluted columns and, and hand carved corbels in the corners and crown molding. And it, we're concentrating on the infrastructure and those kind of things save you weight and they save you money. Yeah. And yep. that was the, the whole premise yeah. so behind the summit. The the summit build, if you're looking a full time, is still gonna be the best in the industry to go do that in. The majestic build, if if we don't offer something or other companies don't offer something that's just perfect for your layout, that's where we can step in, especially with our majestic and build a custom floor plan to to suit all your needs as you're out there RVing. So um, we do have a uh, little, I'm gonna call it like a slideshow, a side-by-side -side comparison of the two units that we'll be getting loaded onto our website very soon. So there's a little more visual, um, you know, visual, what's the word I'm looking for? It's easier to tell the difference of the oh, summit yeah. and the majestic. So, yeah. yeah, the comparison of the two. So uh, we'll be working on getting that on the website very soon. So. Uh, Diane Rugg wanted to know, can a king bed be centered with opposing slides for the dresser, wardrobe, and windows? Centered. Like, can oh, a running. Can bed be centered with opposing slides? Oh, running running towards the nose? I'm not sure. That's yeah, I'm not. I don't, I, if, it, if it's. She said earlier that her. Her dream room would be consider a king bed, not in a slide, center it with right. a short headboard with outlet and put dresser's cabinets in the uh, opposing slides. When you've got a, your interior width is 96, mm -hmm. overall is, is the 102, but interior width is 96, um, and then you've got a, a 72 inch wide bed, um, that doesn't give you much room for slides. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I don't think it would work, a king at least. Yeah. I think a queen potentially would. Yeah, because the depth of the cabinet wouldn't be, I mean, it couldn't slide in past the width of the bed. So what, we have done, what we have done, though, is you can't do two slides, one on each side. You could offset your bed and have a wardrobe on the other side. That's what we did in that barbecue trailer. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's quite, it's quite. Um, another one that we got from email was how custom is custom built? As long as it, uh, I, I've, I've always joked, you know, if you can dream it and it's safe and you want to pay for it, we can do just about anything. 
uh, there are items that we've identified over the last 10 years that frankly just don't work in a fifth wheel and uh, we no longer put those kind of items in uh, we don't want to sell you a problem so if something ever pops up and we say no to it um, it's usually for pretty good reason so typically what we'll do is you could jot down your ideas so you're kind of painting a painting a picture my Cole and I have both done this a long time that if we can kind of hear what you want we can envision it in our head and then we get with Frank and Joseph and turn it into reality so not everything works but you know it's it's uh, we can definitely figure something out yeah Another one that we have was what is the toy hauler insulated like the rest of the unit with heating and air conditioning? Exactly the same. Um, you've got, you know, you're going to have stu two standard uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Uh, depending on the size, you're going to have two furnaces. Um, you, know, you can even put a, and we did this in our show model, we put a third air conditioner in the garage area, um, which that actually turned out to be really nice down in uh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, walls, floors, roof, built exactly the same way the rest of the rig is, yeah. or rest of the rigs are. Okay, and another one is, and this is a question that we get all the time, is does New Horizons have dealers? Aaron, do you want to answer that one? <laughs> Sir, <coughs> serve you up the softball question. We'll, we'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Right. <laughs> so New Horizons actually does not have dealers. We only have the manufacturing company here in Junction City, Kansas. That is where our ambassadors come in. Our ambassadors are like our dealers and they're the best people to be just because they own a New Horizons, they've done their research, um, they're currently living in them. Nine times out of ten, our ambassadors are full timers. So they'll be able to give and answer any questions that most people have off the road who are thinking about full timing or are wondering if our rigs really are four seasons. Our ambassadors are the best people to answer those questions. And if you happen to not be able to get to Kansas for some reason because we are a little off the beaten path, <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is just give We're in the middle of everything. Right. Yeah, no, yeah we're right in the middle of everything. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> well, I mean, all you have to do is just either give us a phone call. You can get a hold of Courtney at info at horizonsrv.com. And you can see if there's one in your area. You can go our onto website, our website, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to see if there is a New Horizons on our website. I mean, it's very easy to simply set something up with Courtney, or if you see a New Horizons off the road, our customers are very friendly. They may not necessarily be ambassadors, but most times they'll be able to answer any questions that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Am I done for today? No, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look out. Right. Yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> Joe Kohler said, plan on putting a cricket on the back of the Majestic. What would be different than the regular hitch setup? Nothing. Uh, our regular... You might need two. Yeah, the double crickets back the double, there. Yeah. <laughs> no, our rear receiver hitches, um, they're they're very, very burly in how we it's integrate built, It's, it's part of the chassis. Yeah. Yeah. So, you just got to pick your color, Joe. <laughs> well, Barbara said, adding to Joe's question, I'd like to put an HD trike on the back. Is this possible? Mm, it is with a, um, we could do like a, a swivel wheel, um, but like a hydraulic lift type thing wouldn't wouldn't work on the back with the trike. It'd be a lot of weight cantilevered off the rear. We've done the swivel wheel platform mm -hmm. type deals before. Yeah, which would handle remember. that weight awesome, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't bounce around going down the these nasty highways we got. Mm -hmm. so. And Sharon McFarland said, is heated floors an option? Um, we offered heated floors for two years, about five or six years ago. Did maybe a dozen, and like all but two or three ended up with, you know, connections and things that ended up buried in the floor that basically came undone from going down the road. So um, we don't offer them today because of the longevity. We we don't feel confident in them lasting for you. So it's a lot of money to spend on something that, that doesn't have a long shelf life. So yep. so unfortunately, that's not something that, that we offer today. However, our floors are better insulated than any other floor in the market with that foam built into the floor itself. So, so it's, a, it's a laminated floor, which is, yeah. you, don't, you just don't see that. One of the things that's nice about the laminated floor 
you know, when you walk around, you don't have that spongy feel that you get in a lot of other manufacturers. So that's uh, one of the things you notice right off the bat. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just You're good. No, it's okay, right Courtney. Um, Bridget Maney said, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, said, is it possible to fit and wire for a re residential washer and dryer and stove and cooktop? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, done that a few times. So. Um, and as far as one of the last questions here, I guess, unless um, anybody else on live has some, um, who owns New Horizon? Our mom does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we're kind of an an. an Anomaly. An anomaly, um, and that we're still a small family-owned and ran company. Um, you know, the the business itself was founded in 1989 by the Johnson family. Um, our late father Phil uh, bought the company from him in 2002, and it's been our family. Um, this is the owners ever since. Uh, lost dad to cancer about three years ago. Uh, Mom is still the the sole owner. Um, you know, Drew and I are the the product specialists, the salesmen, if you will, and then our CEO, Brian Tillett, uh, he's been with us for about four or five years. Five years, I think. Four or five years now. A uh, lot of experience in the industry, um, great leadership. Uh, it's been uh, been a wild ride the last few years, but uh, been a fun been a good ride. too. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, and we're, I don't want to say the word too young, but uh, we'll be doing this for a long time. So I'm 35 and Drew's 45, and uh, it's something we really love. We, Our motto has been building our customers' dreams. Um, or not just building RVs, we're building our customers' dreams. And, you know, we get to wear many hats from kind of like a real estate agent to an interior designer, uh, obviously salesman, but we get to help you. Uh, kind of navigate the waters of you've got this concept, this dream in your head, and a vision, and then we're able to help that come to life. Kind of like building the house, really. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It is just like building the house. I'm going through it right now. <laughs> um, ours just happened to be in that 350 to 450 square foot range with a steel foundation instead of concrete, and there's wheels. some wheels under there too. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Um, you know, still, still be in that small atmosphere. And, you know, anybody that, that we end up having the privilege of earning your business, uh, the first thing we always say to you is welcome to the family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we truly do treat you like family. Um, <laughs> even though that might be bad sometimes. I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks a lot. We're working with my brother every day. Um, but, you know, the... And it's not just trying to earn your business. It's also um, after you build a new horizons with us. You know, we, we, we work really hard to take care of you after the fact. Um, without a doubt, I feel that we build the best fifth wheel in the industry. Do things go wrong as you're bouncing these down the interstates and the roads? Yes, sometimes things can pop up. Um, when they do, um, you call us up and we help you get it taken care of. We don't give you the runaround of, Oh, you gotta call the manufacturer. So you do, and then they say, "Oh, that's a dealership issue. You gotta call the dealer you bought it from." We're both, so you know we can't hide behind anybody. If if something goes wrong, we're gonna take care of you. So it's just a little different approach on that. So do you have no questions? Yes, we have a couple more. Questions. Cool. Um, can New Horizons be set up for boondocking? Bridget. Oh yes, that's an awesome. Question. You better call us the answer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Mr. Laplante says he calls it glam docking. So. <laughs> no, we do we do a lot of solar. I mean, and we actually install it. You don't have to buy the rig and then take it somewhere else. Um, lithium batteries, uh, you know, solar, you know, big solar arrays, solar charger, uh, diesel generator. I mean, you just got to figure out where you want to draw the line. Yeah. And but we can do it all. Okay, and Ron said. Are more people going with the mini split AC versus rooftop, maybe to save on overall height? Um, no, I mean, right now there's there's one company that's offering it, and it's been very, very minimal on how many they've installed. Um, we're doing some research on it, but it's it's nothing that's ready for, like, the, the prime time, you know, selling them to everybody out there. So, 
Uh, we've been looking into it. concept. It's, yeah, it's a cool concept to look into, but. Barbara said, thank you. She looks forward to meeting with you in Tampa in January to explore her options. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. And Bridget said, what about after-sale customer service? Do we bring it back to you for maintenance? Oh, perfect. Yeah. if we purchase an older model, can you upgrade the interior? Yeah. That is that is a great question. Um, we were joking about being out here in the middle of nowhere or mm -hmm. in the middle of everything. But we don't require you to come back for any kind of warranty claims or service. Um, if you find a service shop that's close to you that you feel is reputable and capable to work on your home, um, you know, have that technician call us and we'll supply them with you know, technical know-how or anything else mm -hmm. and get you taken care of. And we've actually, we've got, uh, I mean, we're sitting here, we look at it every day so we don't think about it. We've got a service department mm -hmm. with a guy that runs the service department. Uh, we've got three or four techs that work out there full time. So, you know, you just call up, schedule, um, you know, when you're on the move and we can get you in, get you taken care of. Yep. And, and yeah, if you buy, a, if you find a used New Horizons out there and you want some work done to it or just have us check through it or change some things, add some things, whatever it happens to be, our service shop will, will definitely be able to take care of you on that. So. Mm -hmm. I think that about wraps it so, up. Kind of cool, guys. All right. Well, this is fun. We appreciate yeah. you guys tuning in. Um, we're going to make this kind of a every month thing. Um, so if you guys have questions, don't wait for a month. You can reach out to us through our <laughs> website. Um, we love getting your questions answered. We feel the more you learn about what we do and what we can do for you, um, the the better off we look as a as a company and as a, a RV builder. So, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks, uh, guys. We'll see you guys Thank next you. time. Thank Bye. you.